The third week of August is typically the best week for Australia's ski season, but warm air and unfavourable conditions have stored the snow this year. And while this year's season is recoverable, it comes as climate change threatens to completely upend the industry. It's peak season for the ski fields, but the flakes have not been falling. Less than three centimetres of snow has fallen over the resorts in the last two weeks. There's a bit of a high pressure system which is being problematic. Uh, it's semi-stationary in the Tasman. It has blocked the passage of cold fronts, which are our major snowmaking systems. Favourable conditions are likely to return before the end of the month. Whether this is enough to save the season remains to be seen. Any rain on snow is never a good thing if you're a skier, so uh, it may take a few more dumps to get the base that's necessary um, to sustain our season for the rest of this year. Year on year, Australia's ski season is getting shorter. Climate change has been impacting the Alps for a few decades now. Um, the Australian snowpack is at a 2,000 year low um, and already we've seen a contraction of about uh, 17 to 28 per cent of ski season length across Australian um, alpine resorts. Modelling by Australian researchers suggests the ski season could be under threat if greenhouse gas emissions aren't reduced. Our projections uh, indicated that uh, under a low emission scenario by 2050 across um, all alpine resorts, um, it the ski season will reduce by 28 days um, and in a high emission scenario it will be 55 days shorter. This year's snowpack may have already peaked. Warm conditions means the snow base is thawing. But forecasters say it's not too late for some season saving snow. It may be on a very gentle uh, long term downhill slope but uh, I've still got some skis upstairs and I hope they get some snow in them this year. Rhiannon Elston, Sky News Weather.